genocide, the deliberate killing of a large group of people, especially those of a particular nation or ethnic group. Synonym, racial killing, massacre, wholesale slaughter, and mass slaughter. Today, we will look at the Ukrainian genocide or Holodomor. The word Holodomor comes from the word Holodo, meaning hunger or starvation, and the word more, meaning death or plague. It refers to the brutal artificial famine imposed by Stalin's regime from 1932 to 1933. It was a terrible event that claimed the lives of millions. Experts estimated that around 13% of all Ukrainian perish. But why? In 1929, Joseph Stalin put in motion his plan of creating a totally communist economy in the Soviet Union. He pushed for collectivization, a type of agricultural production in which multiple farmers joined together into a collective farm. They would work together and all be equally rewarded. And as a plus, these collective farms would be easier to monitor and be state-owned. Stalin pushed his plan onto Ukraine, a well-known farming country with rich, fertile soil. And as expected, the Ukrainian farmers resisted. Those who didn't cooperate would be branded as kulaks, Soviet term for freeloading peasants. In some cases, these kulaks were exported to farms in Siberia. Eventually, teams of police and Soviet party officials forced the Ukrainian farmers to comply. But this ordeal left a sour taste in Stalin's mouth. He saw that the Ukrainian farmers felt hatred for the Soviet Union and that they had aspiration for independence. Something had to be done. Even though collectivization was successfully implemented, the results were less than ideal. By late 1932, the Ukrainian harvests were on pace to miss the Soviet's target by 60%. Stalin saw this as the Ukrainian farmers resisting and not working hard enough, instead of the Soviet Union setting unrealistic targets. He decided to confiscate a majority of the harvest as quote-unquote punishment. Punishment for opposing collectivization, not meeting the Soviet's target, and for wanting independence. Stalin's punishment caused Holodomor. It led to a countrywide famine, it led to terrible conditions and left the Ukrainian population in limbo. Either stay in collective farms and not have enough to survive, or run away and risk getting caught and in prison. They had to pick their poison. Conditions became so desperate that farmers began consuming their own pets, flowers, leaves, roots and tree barks. Parents would rather strangle their own children or bury them alive than watch them perish. In one case, a mother took bread ration from her offspring and gave it to her husband instead. She later said she could always have more children, but only one husband. The Ukrainian community became mistrustful and violent. People horrifically even began eating one another. By June 1933, more than 28,000 men, women and children died every day in Ukraine. Collective farms only had one third of their household left. The Soviet government decided to relocate some Russian peasants to make up for the lost farmers and facing the prospect of a rougher famine, Stalin finally eased off on the harvest collection in late 1933. But the damage was done. An estimated 3.9 million Ukrainian perish, or roughly 13% of the population. And even this number might be considered low by some experts. Some have estimated over 10 million, while others thought it could be as low as 1.5 million. It also did not help that the Soviet Union did not recognize starvation as a cause of death on their records. It also didn't help that they denied the famine even took place. For 50 years, survivors of Holodomor were forbidden to speak about it. The Soviet Union denied the existence of a famine. Those who spoke up were accused of anti-Soviet propaganda. Mentions of the famine were strictly prohibited. Information about the famine became an oral tradition in Ukraine where parents would pass on the details of what actually happened to their children, making sure Holodomor would never be forgotten. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, the Russian government finally acknowledged the Ukrainian famine, but they refused to classify it as a genocide. Holodomor wasn't classified as a genocide until November 28, 2006, when the Ukrainian parliament officially defined 
Holodomor as an act of genocide. Nowadays, approximately two dozen nations recognize Holodomor as a genocide as well. Holodomor is a dark page in modern history. It's an extremely terrible event, an event that should have been the last of its kind, but as we all know, this wasn't the case. Since Holodomor, we've witnessed other horrific genocides and sadly, we will probably witness even more in the future. It's our job to make sure such a horrific event will not be forgotten in the future and to prevent any more from happening. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. See you next time.